Coming up on your five news at 10, as you know, the Hogs came out on top today in Auburn. Our Jonathan Acosta has all the highlights from today's game. Plus, over a hundred people are dead and even more are injured from a stampede in South Korea. We have that story and more as the news where you live starts now. Covering news where you live. This is five news at 10. Hey, we want to say good evening and welcome here to your five news at 10. I'm Michael Wilson along with five news meteorologist Stephen <laughs> Abshire. And Stephen, we've been dealing with some rain. I just noticed my tie's not straight. My mom's mad, but we've been dealing with <laughs> a lot of rain today. Much needed rain. But Halloween is actually Monday. Are we going to be dealing with some rain for those trick or treaters? Michael, we're going to be good for Monday, but it's been a long day today. Not only with your tie, you got a lot on your mind, but the rain has been on all of our minds for much of today. It is my favorite music to hear. The Hogs were back in action today on the road looking to beat Auburn, and they did just that. Now, 5 News sports reporter Jonathan Acosta, he joins us now in studio. Man, talk about those Hogs. They were on a bye week last week. Didn't get to watch them, but they came back and took down the Tigers badly. That, yeah, with Arkansas <laughs> being on a bye week, you know, it had back over to you. All right, Jonathan. Well, disaster struck in Seoul, South Korea today when crowds of mostly young people celebrating Halloween festivities became trapped and crushed in a narrow alley. At least 149 people were killed and more than 100 injured in one of the worst disasters to ever happen in South Korea's history. Now, we do want to warn you that some of the images you are about to see may be disturbing. CBS News' Christian Benavides has more. The twist, CBS News. Back in 2005, 11 people were killed and around 60 injured in a crowd surge at a pop concert in the southern part of South Korea. Now to this, Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, remains in the hospital today after he was violently attacked by an intruder inside the couple's San Francisco home early Friday. Police say that 82-year-old Paul Pelosi called 911 at around 2 in the morning while his attacker was already in the San Francisco home. Authorities say the suspect, 42-year-old David DePappi, repeatedly hit the House Speaker's husband with a hammer. At the point at which the police arrived, he did to kill him. Sources say the intruder shouted, where's Nancy, and planned to detain Pelosi's husband until she returned. In the aftermath of this attack, we've learned that Capitol Police are considering additional protection for families of congressional leadership. And back here at home, state auditor candidate Diamond Arnold Johnson was arrested yesterday on a felony charge of terroristic threatening. This comes just days away from Election Day and finding out the results of the race. Now, Ashley Godwin finds out what this means for your vote. Friday. And that was Ashley Godwin reporting. Now to this, the Newton County Sheriff's Office has completed day two of searching for a missing hiker. 67-year-old Clinton Preston Smith was reported missing Thursday. You can see him right there on your screen. After he did not return from a planned hike on a hymned in the hollow trail at the Buffalo National River on October 27th. Now, Smith was last seen wearing blue jeans and a black shirt. If you have seen Smith or have any information on his whereabouts, please contact Buffalo National River's emergency dispatch at 888-692-1162. Today was National Drug Take Back Day. Now, this event offers anonymous disposal of unneeded medications at more than 4,000 drop-off locations nationwide. For more than a decade, DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day has provided an easy, no-cost chance to get rid of medication stored in the home that could be misused or even stolen. We have According to a report published by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, a majority of people who misuse a prescription medication got the medicine from a family member or a friend. Still ahead, the Northwest Arkansas Hard Walk was today. You see some familiar faces. And coming up after the break, we'll take you out to where hundreds were walking for a good cause. That's up next. And some. Hey, welcome back 
here to your 5 News at 10. The 2022 Northwest Arkansas Heart Walk, Heart Walk took place today. Now, 5 News' own Erica Thomas was there emceeing along with evening anchor Darren Bob and walking for the cause along with hundreds of others. The annual Heart Walk raises money for life-saving science and medical breakthrough advances, all while honoring survivors and learning how to live healthier lives. All where the funds go. Get this, cardiovascular disease occurs every 39 seconds, and it is the number one killer of all Americans. Now let's take you back outside. You're looking here south of the new Hope Road in Rogers. It looks quite dead out there, probably because we've been having some showers throughout the day. But Stephen, are we expecting these showers tomorrow and even into Halloween night? Well, Micah, yeah, Saturday and Saturday. Well, families across the area are getting in the Halloween spirit by starting their trick or treating a few days earlier. And today in Bentonville, there was a sensory friendly trunk or treating event. And Five News reporter Rachel Williams joins us to highlight the importance of being sensory friendly. Halloween to Williams, Five News. Thank you. So with Halloween here, what are the most popular Halloween costumes? Well, journalsearch.org says that Harley Quinn is the most popular costume this Halloween, with 13 states searching for the costume. And in second place is the iconic horror villain Chucky, with nine states searching for that costume. And Top Gun costumes are the third most popular across the country, with six states searching for that. And in Arkansas, Five News journalist Micah... Nah, I'm just playing with y'all. Horror icon and Michael Myers is what the natural state in Kentucky have been looking for the most. And if you have a great Halloween costume this year, we want to see it. Enter our Halloween costume into the five news co cutest costume contest for a chance to win some prizes. Now, 10 winners will be chosen to win a $50 gift card to the party place. The contest ends on November 1st at midnight. You can enter on our website, 5newsonline.com, and all you have to do is click on the contest tab. Well, coming up here on your five news, a big win for the Hawks today against Auburn. We'll have full highlights and reaction of Arkansas's win on the road. That's next in sports. The North chances coming up. All right, we're looking forward to Halloween. Thankfully, no full moons or rain in the forecast. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a good Saturday night.